Welcome to Flutty Teacher. In this tutorial, I'm going to explain gridview.count with its use and properties. So without wasting time, let's get started. When it comes to deal with UI having a grid, whether it's a normal app, game, or responsive design, we mostly require a grid with fixed number of tiles in the cross axis. Gridview.count is the most easy way to achieve this in Flutter. Gridview.count is the most straightforward way of creating two-dimensional scrollable array of widgets with fixed number of tiles in cross axis. Let's jump for practical. Cross axis count is the required property. It decides the fixed number of tiles in cross axis. It takes an int value. Let's say if I use two here, it means there will be two tiles in the cross axis. Let's quickly understand what we mean by main axis and the cross axis. If in your grid view, if you are scrolling in the vertical direction, then it's your main axis and your horizontal axis is now the cross axis. On the other hand, if you are scrolling in your grid view in the direction of horizontal, then that's your main axis and the cross axis here is your vertical axis. Children property takes the list of widgets. All the widgets pass here will be shown as two dimensional scrollable array on the screen. Let me place some images inside it. To keep the consistency, let's fill the image to cover the available space. Let me save here and you can observe now we have got a grid that has two tiles that is two images in a cross axis. So when I change it to say three, then you will find that there are total three uh, images in the cross axis. Let's change it to four. You can see there's again a nice structure of images appearing here. Let's change the value of this cross axis count to say three so that we can have a proper structure here. Padding property is used to apply padding for entire grid view. Uh, let me use this say agencies dot all 16 pixel you can see there's 16 pixel padding across from my entire grid view let's come in this padding and we can apply this spacing here for example uh, for applying spacing in the main axis we can use option called main axis spacing for example say uh, 20 pixel here so you can observe here in the main axis that in the uh, vertical axis we have spacing of 20 pixels in the grid and for the cross axis spacing we can use the option say cross axis spacing let's say 10 here you can observe now uh, for this cross axis, we have a 10 pixel spacing among the tiles here. So, this is the most significant way of applying uh, spacing uh, using the main axis and cross axis is that this grid count. We can change the scroll direction using the option called scroll direction for which we have to apply the value in the form of axis. By default, it's uh, axis dot vertical. So, let me change it to say axis dot horizontal. We'll observe here. I need to scroll in the horizontal direction. We can see I'm scrolling in the horizontal direction. And if I change it to say vertical, of course, it's by default, but let me explain how it works. And now you can see it's the uh, scrolling in vertical direction. We can reverse the sequence of tiles using property called reverse. So let's use here true. So you can observe here we have this uh, this specific image as the first tile here. But when I save here, you will observe that the sequence will change, and now that becomes the last tile in my grid view. Even uh, the scrolling direction is same means I have to scroll in vertical direction, but the sequence of tile has changed due to this reverse property. We have a property called physics. So basically physics property allows us uh, to apply the effect when we scroll the list when we reach at the end or start of the list. So by default there is a option called clamping scroll physics. So let's use this clamping scroll physics. You can observe here uh, when we reach at the end if you scroll you can uh, see there there is a little effect we are getting when I'm scrolling the list. So that's called the clamping scroll physics. Instead of this clamping scroll physics if I use say bouncing scroll physics let's save here and we'll observe now. When I try to uh, just drag the list means when I try to just again go at the end of the list, uh, it will show the bouncing effect. So this is what the effect of this bouncing scroll physics. We have option called catch extend. Uh, for example, let me use a value for this catch extend 500. Let me explain with uh, the diagram what do you mean by this catch extend. Basically, viewport of grid view has the area before and after the visible area in order to catch the items that are about to become visible when user scroll. And when we use the value of catch extend to say 500, it means your grid view will have allocated extra or say additional space or additional items uh, that can fit in the catch of 500 pixels uh, for the top side and for the bottom side as well. Using child aspect ratio, we can control the height of the grid when uh, we have a grid uh, vertical. And in case of horizontal grid, we can control the width of tile here. Basically, it is the ratio of cross axis to main axis extent. Uh, value for this must be between 0.0, .0 to 1.0 for example when i use uh, one here it means it will try to have exactly same width and same height for each grid when we change the value to say 0.5 it means each tile will have the double height compared to its width available using a controller we can control the scrolling of grid view programmatically and we can also respond to various scrolling events performed by the user
But let me talk about very important point regarding this gratuitous count. If we have less number of child, then it is recommended that we should use this gratuitous count. But as your number of child increases or your number of child uh, depends on some place or you are getting the child dynamically from um, your database or from firebase or some different place so it is recommended that we should use the gridview.builder instead of using the gridview.count that's it for this video see you guys in the next video if you really found this video helpful and knowledgeable then don't forget to hit like share subscribe and hit the bell notification button to get my latest videos